What's going on people, Midler89 here. Welcome to the channel, True Source Player. Thought in this video I'd tell you a little bit about my experience with a timeline shift. Seeing entities again manifest, this time in the broad daylight. Knocks with Darn Burning and Archons, and my confrontation with Beelzebub and the Master Puppet. And a lot of synchronicities that happened around that Easter of 2019. Now I, I came into the knowledge of the occult anatomy of man by Manny P. Hall and how all these external buildings like the churches and cathedrals and stuff were otherwise in these temples that they refer to like Solomon's Temple you know this they were actually referring to the Temple of Man the Temple of Women you know our bodies these are the temples these are where all the, the gods reside all the archetypes that we can tap into and manifest because that's God made us in his image we have all the um, spiritual gifts and skills of God to be able to create whatever we wish to create and this is why you know there's been such a war on and jealousy towards us because we've been granted that kind of power with other entities and the whole story of Lucifer and Satan and falling you know there's all this jealousy and this aggression and them living off us and thinking we're worthless and all this that and the other but I think it's very true so coming to the realization of that I used the house for a couple of weeks I did like three mushroom trips as a ritual to extend the house as a version of myself so I can see what entered the home and any messages or things that happened as a kind of mag um, magnified version of myself with like the kitchen being the heart you know and the lounge room and stuff like this and right up in the attic was the head and so it was all very symbolic and so what I did was went through a series of mushroom trips one or two of them were very very trialing and I came into confrontation with Bill's above and the master puppet one of which was some weird shit going on with my senses in that I felt things being pulled in my subconscious mind with salivations and kind of weird shit happened in my body that never to be got rid of luckily and another one was Beelzebub and I got the message through that with a, a bumblebee that was actually trapped in one of the flower pots with the spider in a web and it was really discordant it was, it was under a lot of stress and I remember that was like real symbolic and a fly that flew up in front of my screen you know all before these these trips took place and if you look at Beelzebub it's often depicted by a fly and this fly was fucking huge and really demonic looking but at the time you kind of you know what I mean I'm just when you look back it's all happenstance you always realize that shit okay i understand now i see why these symbols rocked up you know it's almost like a warning or a fair warning like this is what you're going to head into this is what you're going to confront so just be ready and luckily i was because my willpower is so strong um and just pulled through every one of these kind of rituals but what was interesting you know my whole time of doing these things i'm all about finding the truth and wanting to heal earth one of them um there was a lot of shit going on in the house and the cat there was picking up on this energy there's a lot of knocking noises during the night there was shit there was spiritual entities around i was going through a huge purge and i was using my house as this kind of extension to try and combat these purges and these these demonic en entities that might have entered into my subconscious based on what i experienced in you know previous trips and i kind of wanted to just purify and purge everything out and i remember one day i did a ritual where I collected these, these crow pegs that were outside that are very symbolic of what I thought I managed to conquer these demons and so I put them together and wrap, wrapped them up in this kind of um, in this string and I burnt them <laughs> in the in the fire and I remember doing that with the fire symbolic of like you know purging my demons and carrying that smoke into the whole earth over the whole earth to heal and to purify Mother Gaia and also then drown in the ashes, rinsing the ashes down into the earth with, with the water so it was like the soil and the earth was getting purified as well as the air through the fire. What happened after that, I saw a huge, huge shift on the telly and on the phones and BBC News and everything else that was going on of more cosmic and green orientated reality. And it was just, it was instantaneous. It was unbelievable. And I remember seeing that shift like instantaneously. And I remember going to bed that night, I actually unlocked Pandora's box between the sacral plexus and the root chakra plexus. And I had a fire that was burning in me for a good five or six days that made me sit upright. And I didn't eat for the whole five or six days. It's incredible. And if you look up, there's some articles online about it. I found that it's about Pandora's box, opening up Pandora's box. And I believe that's what I opened. So I've had a, quite a few grisly confrontations with some of these entities that I couldn't see but it was all energetic it was all battles through the energetic realm through the subconscious and so the next day I woke up and I felt so good I went for a jog down again at Badbury Rings this this site is a very historical site and it's obviously linked to a Saturn I believe and I went for 
a run and I remember coming back round and I looked at the clock, there's a crow that flew past me, looked at, the, looked at my watch and it said 11, 11. And I looked up right in the ridge of where I was about to jog up to, it took maybe 20 seconds to get to, were two entities with on horseback looking down at me, similar to the Yankee and Enlil of what I saw on the moon. So I thought that's really strange. And I kind of went around another corner of bush and I came back up and they just disappeared. And so I thought I'd sprint up there real quick and see where they went. Because once you get up there, you can see for miles everywhere. There's nowhere they could have hidden. And they just disappeared. And so they obviously, they came down based on what I did with these rituals with the house. They, they appeared the next day. And I just come into all this information of the color green, the veins, Venus, earth, heart chakra. And it was like this, this unlocking of, again, more gnosis. Uh, based on these experiences and I remember what happened also was um, not too long after that it was around Easter Sunday I believe I got a load of synchronicity sent over to me from my dad who was traveling in New Zealand and I came into a lot of symbolisms after that point actually before that um, of the griffin so it was the lion and the eagle merging together to form the griffin and so I had a huge huge symbol symbolism of that coming into my kind of psyche and it otherwise i decoded it and otherwise it's linked with the new age we're heading into because aquarius is fixed air the king of the air is the eagle and then sitting right opposite on the on the autumnal equinox would be leo which is fixed fire which is the lion if you merge those two creatures together you get the griffin which is a divine creature of protection if you look up on you know on the google and stuff and that's the symbolism the merging of the, those two animals so I got sent over to me for confirmation of this stuff that I was coming into. It was also played out through other people subconsciously, probably by God and some of these higher entities, my higher self maybe, sent me over an image of an eagle, massive eagle graffitied on a wall in New Zealand and a sea lion making its way to the beach, to the sea on the beach and it came to rest. And this is all after the timeline shift that I experienced. And it was all symbolic, it all happened around Easter. And I remember even the next day, I had to go to the, to the airport, drop my mum off to, um, she's gone on holiday somewhere. And there was a white rabbit that came across the runway. And the guy had to, the pilot had to stop. And she sent me a video of that and it kind of cut out. You know, I was, just, I was wondering what was going on, but I didn't hear from her until like four or five hours later when she landed and she told me, oh, there was a, there was a bunny that came out in front of the, the airplane. And she sent that video to me, as well as my old man sending me the one with the eagle and the, the sea lion all symbolic it all meant something it all tied in with exactly what was happening what went on but i saw this it was a huge shift and it was so green and lovely and peaceful based on my intention and what i set that house up to do putting that intention through the smoke of the fire of burning those effigies of these demons and then drowning their ashes into the sea into the drains and there was one of the drains outside that was a plank of wood was during the night being banged against and this this drain had a symbol of i forgot what it was called but it had a little snake on it and it was very symbolic and i was thinking fucking hell don't open it up it could be a seal for something so for days i was kind of denying open it up but i went to open it up and i opened it up one day as soon as i opened it up a fucking car alarm went off and i felt i felt a gush of energy come out and a car alarm went off and i think it was the next day notre dame was put on fire and that event went down and i remember watching it thinking this is all tying in with exactly what the fuck i've experienced and I remember watching the live feeds of this stuff and I saw the Archons, these false light beings, because they are just, they're just like lights and you see them, they're on top of these buildings. And I remember watching the live feed and the cameramen, they couldn't, they, they cut off the feeds because they knew it was like this fucking real Archontic light shining down the camera and they were kind of up there scanning around and obviously finding out what the fuck went wrong. And there was a lot of images there with the sun looking through the smoke of the burning spire of the Illuminati stronghold that is um, Notre Dame Cathedral so it's all very symbolic of what went down <laughs> during that time and I remember during one of the one of the trips and the rituals that I went into I had two aircraft bombers come right above the fucking house and it flew over me in like formation there was three of them so one big aircraft bomber and then two jets either side and they came right over me and I remember just after that point there was two hawks real high up in the sky just circling right above me in the garden and this, this is like the whole time I was coming to mad, mad um, synchronicities and messages um, through the mushrooms and everything I was trying to set up to do to kind of heal the earth and set out my intent. And they will keep an eye on me. They knew exactly what the fuck I was up to. And it was just, there was so much going on. It was so much going on. And so yeah, the Notre Dame, 
that was symbolic because obviously there you had the the grail of Christ, the thorns, and they obviously removed that. But then prior to the Notch of Dawn burning, they removed all the statues. So it's all kind of like almost like it's been planned out in a sense. But definitely those archons, I guess, I think it was like a mini victory. It felt like with what happened there, it was quite symbolic. So no, these um, these these churches are put on ley lines, and these Freemasons know, and this is otherwise used to help pierce or acupunctures into the earth to keep earth into this kind of low frequency grid and vibration and so they can obviously it's all inverted so if you go to church this external savior program it's it's all <laughs> if you go inside a church it does look like a capsized vessel and so these souls are dead or lost at sea and the cesty qb acts you know it's um there's demons that are running these churches right now because every pastor or priest they're not teaching that you know the temple's within god is within and that's what christ jesus taught every single one of us he did, he did not want everyone to worship him he was he's come down here he's from i think it was from pleiades star system he, he was pleiades incarnation star system under pisces so we drew one for every eon that we head into we drew another one actually new testament for aquarius um, which which is definitely due overdue it should be here maybe i'm here i don't know <laughs> maybe there's loads of us here messages but there's definitely stuff going down um but yeah he used to talk the temple's within it's not without we don't have to rely on anyone but ourselves when we tap into that true true source and true power that is truly within so all these external temples and churches and statues and stuff they have otherwise inverted and used to you know officially degrade the grid and um help cement and manifest what they want which is you know this new world order satanic uh, luciferian empire but another another thing that was interesting was during the night when the moon was out i saw a lot of what I basically what came into my awareness in the house again the house was like an extension of myself was a rainbow umbrella which is very you know int interesting with like the rainbow body and stuff like this I remember opening up the rainbow umbrella and using it and sp spinning it around towards the moon telling it to fuck off <laughs> like go away I, I kind of sense you know your energy is not good and you you know your light the light that it emits is colder than the shadow it casts at night and I believe it is part of this ill light ill lumen ill luminati and i believe this is what they worship i believe this is probably the dark satellite that um thomas h Burgoyne talks about in his book the the science of the soul and the stars the light of egypt um we don't know but there's definitely a lot of shit going on there because you know if, it, if i saw the cube and that's linked for saturn and i saw enki and enlo on there and the rainbow bridge but anyway, what was interesting, I was I was directing that towards the moon and the moon was phasing in and out of colours and it was changing colours. I remember actually looking back up into the attic where my room where I was sleeping, there was, there was a few lightning bolts that went off by the chimney and in the room. So I thought, okay, immediately, fucking hell, something's going on. As I as I saw that, a white cat with like a, a kind of brownie face, like a Persian cat, sprinted from the back of the garden right down the side of the house into the cat flap and my, being the other cat I was with, chased it in and I was thinking, oh fuck, okay, I better stop doing this. this. This triggered something. And I remember following it in and went upstairs. So I tried to find it, couldn't find it anywhere. So I went upstairs, right in the attic, couldn't find it in any fucking room anywhere. So it just disappeared, jumped out a window maybe, got no idea. But it led me up into the room and it led me to a box, which is sat on top of the shelf that I never really come into my awareness before. And it was of it, it was like a Japanese old box that I left here before um, by the previous owners. And inside that box, well, on the outside of the box was basically this this entity stood behind another person and kind of controlling it with its arms through its robes, passing a black scroll to the other person, you know, reaching out to receive it. So I thought, fucking hell, that's symbolic. So I opened up the box and inside the box was this black velvet scroll. And inside that black velvet scroll was this fabric with um, green parchment with white stars. So the pentagram stars on there as patterns with white string and I was thinking wow and what what I came into was like an immediate voice in my head and it said what do you think when you look at darkness and I was thinking well that's deep but I kind of pondered on that a little bit and I came into the awareness of or the, the answer and I, I said to myself well I saw I see nothing but nothing but potential and it was kind of like teaching me that you know the darkness is otherwise a canvas in which we can shine our light because without which there is no opposite um, we will not come to understand what light means without the darkness so it was almost it was really really poignant um, kind of lesson I was thinking fucking hell that's so true 
and the symbolism of the green and the white stars and the heart and the things that I went through that those previous weeks and the healing and obviously seeing the two entities that Barbary rings again all very symbolic and I mean it's just a matter of time things are unfolding so very quickly but I feel like I need to get this out here because if some people have you know come across similar experiences or even come into the awareness of this this fact it just it will help shift things massively because this is where all the battles going on is is here we create our reality through our pineal gland in our consciousness and this is what otherwise they've been governing regulating and controlling for far too long but I mean I, I hope I mean we can only do our part in trying to get rid of these parasites but if you look at some of the footage of Notre Dame and there's the, there's a star seed entity there's a, st there's a star being that stood behind Macron that you'll see really pale bold you can tell he was he is not human and he's probably one of Macron's handlers because Paris with the Louvre and the fucking you know capstone that's there Notre Dame these guys so much fucking evil there in all these major cities the Vatican and stuff but Paris especially and so that was that was a, a mini victory I believe for the light to bring down that Illuminati stronghold which is why we saw the Archons pop up and they were fucking panicking I can see this and I was watching this and I had the biggest smile on my face throughout the whole time and it was so very interesting to watch given what I went through two weeks prior to that and all the messages and downloads that came into and getting rid of Bills above Master Puppet seeing all the shit come over my house with the fucking I went through two hours where it felt like someone came over the house was beaming this fucking sick frequency onto me again and I just had to pull through for a few hours just battling it and just fucking it was trying to split my mind apart and this is what this is what they do this is what they do they're fucking after the star seeds anyone who's trying to change the grid and raise the vibration they come in like Agent Smiths and take you out but you won't see them you just feel the energy and they'll fuck up your head if you're not careful so when you do do this make sure you know what you're doing um, I was lucky you know fool's journey I was very lucky, but this this is, you know, do your homework. But hopefully you won't have to do it because it's already been done. And it's just a matter of time now, just waiting for the positive timeline to play itself out. All the people that are not in alignment with this new world is just going to be ended. They're going to get the vaccines and they're going to kill themselves. And it's just going to, then all, all the, you know, all the rats and snakes and scorpions going to head back into the crevices of the earth, back in Sheol, where they belong in the fucking seven, um, sublunar spheres that are below earth and go back to where they belong because they, they are not in the right place and this is why we're having so much shit that we're experiencing on planet earth um, going on all the evil that's in the sea and lies so yeah we'll wait and see what happens anyway thanks for watching thanks for listening like and subscribe comment if you have any similar experiences just want to get this off my chest it's good to share and hopefully raise the vibration and make make the earth a better place and yeah keep on battling we're warriors we've been sent here for a job and i've, I've definitely realized that now so yeah peace out all the best take care